Obviously, the railway strike is very much in the news at the moment. All week it's been in the background. And I have moments sometimes where I think, how can we be wondering why trade unions are taking action mm. and at the same time reporting on the arrival of warm banks it's remarkable, in our country. Yeah. I mean, they yeah. are. I mean, it is all linked, isn't it? Mm. It's all. It's all part of the same struggle, in a sense. And we've got a situation where the response of the government to attention, and there is attention. People yeah. can't afford avoid that. Is to make the cause of the tension or the people that are trying to resolve it illegal. So mm. what they're saying to us now, because we've had an effective strike action, that we're going to make you virtually illegal. We're going to make this almost impossible for you to pursue this agenda, which I believe is a pillar of our democracy and it comes from people who haven't really worked in our industries, any industry. Some of these people that are running this country, as my mother would have said, have never done a hand's turn of work in their lives. Mm. You know, they've never, even as businessmen, they've not run important organisations. Mm. They tend to be from communications, <laughs> uh, PR, uh, financial consultancies. They've never had to think, I own this factory, it's got 400 people. And we've got a problem. How am I going to keep these people paid? How am I going to pay my bills? Now, I recognise that. If you are a business person, you've got a problem, and it's sure. a big responsibility. I don't think the people in on either of those front benches anymore have had to do anything like that. They've never been... There are very few trade union officials in Parliament these days who've gone, right, I work in a steelworks, and it may close. And if it closes, my town is going to shut down in Scotland or Yorkshire. And I've got to talk to this governor over here, and he's got a big problem as well. I, don't, I think that's really missing from political life these days. The people that have actually been at the coalface and had to take really tough decisions about going on strike or not going on strike or making a settlement that's a big compromise and that is painful. So how would it change them if they had done a hand's turn? In that? How would they be different, do you think? Well, it could be that they're more brutal. <laughs> well, that that's problem? what I was wondering. That's what it used to be yeah. like. But it, I think in this day and age where people are meant to be more humane because that's the way that life has resolved and Cameron's version of Toryism mm. is that we're all thoughtful mm. and there's a little bit of Tory wokeism apparently, is it, it would make people different. But I think in the last week or so with yeah. Truss and Sunak, we've seen quite a vicious version of Toryism that... You can say to people, you are illegal because you're from another country and we're going to deport you to a third country, no matter what the consequences and what our image is. And we're going to make trade unionists illegal. And if, if they were doing this in Korea or some other oppressive country, they would be condemning what they're doing to us now. In, in it's the, really remarkable it, the way that people can silo themselves yeah. and compartmentalise their thought and not have any form of a philosophy that goes from one end of their business to the other end of their business and think, how can I deliver what I believe into all the elements? Mm. And all this very image that tax itself is some kind of problem. Yes. I find that really disgusting. Yes, of course <laughs> it is. Tax is good, and we've got to get that message out there. Tax is a good, purposeful, progressive thing in any society. <laughs> 